everybody and welcome to my February beauty favorites for 2015. I can't believe February is over already. Today is March 2nd and this is probably going to be the last beauty video you're going to see here for a little while. Um, there may be one more but if not this is going to be the last one you're going to see for probably a couple weeks at least and that's because I'm having a baby next week a week today March 9th if you don't follow me on my mommy channel I'm being induced and this little boy or girl is going to come into the world so I'm gonna take a little break from doing beauty videos for a while so that's where I'll be but I'll share with you guys the things that I've been loving this month of February okay so the first is a foundation it's actually relatively new to me I went to pick up um, my trusty old what was it, CoverGirl 3-in-1 Stay Fabulous that I love so much, um, and they didn't have it in my color, and I was desperate. So I picked up the CoverGirl Ready, Set, Gorgeous, which is new. I do like that it comes in a squeeze too because it's super easy to use. It's kind of like a BB cream in that sense. You just squeeze it out. Um, the color matches really well for my pale self, and I find it really similar to the 3-in-1. I don't know. I'm trying to think of what might be different. There might be a little bit more coverage in this, possibly, but um, for the most part, they're very, very similar foundations. So because I love the 3-in-1, I've been loving the Ready, Set, Gorgeous as well. And I'm really glad that, that worked out because I would hate to buy something that didn't work out. Okay, the next is a lipstick. I have forgotten about this. I have so many lipsticks and I just put them away and kind of forget, forget about them. But I was rediscovering one. This is from Red Apple Lipsticks. And this is a gluten-free brand. I've done a review on them before. And the color is Audrey. And that's the packaging there. And that's what it looks like. These are the creamiest, softest lipsticks. I'll swatch it for you. I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now. It's kind of like your lip color, but better. So that's it there. And it's gluten-free in case I eat it. So that's always good. So that's a favorite. And then a mascara sample that I've been actually really liking is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This is just the original one. I feel like I've tried the Lights Camera Flashes before or Splashes or I don't know, there's a bunch of them and I wasn't a huge fan, but this one, like the original one, I really like the brush. It's a bristle brush like that. And um, what I like about it is that the bristles are quite hard, like quite pokey but still dense, I don't know. Some of them I have, some of the samples I have are too plush, and I feel like they just don't really do a whole lot for my lashes, but this one I feel like I can get in there and uh, create some good volume and length, so I've been liking that. And then, a blush, this actually came in this past month's Ipsy bag, and I didn't, I didn't have high hopes from it, because it's from Model Co. It's the color Cosmopolitan, and I'm not usually a fan of Model Co products, but I've been wearing this blush like every day. It's beautiful and it's not too powdery and it's pigmented and it stays on well and it's got a slight little glow to it. It's all I'm wearing on my cheeks right now is a blush, this blush. And I'm probably going to bring it to the hospital with me <laughs> to wear after I have a baby because it's small and it's a really pretty color. Alright, and the last two things, this is a quick one. I'm having a baby, what can I say? I don't. I haven't been experimenting too much with makeup here recently. An eyeshadow that I've been wearing just for quick everyday eyeshadow look is on my eyes right now. It's Sahara Treasure from L'Oreal and it's their Infallible line. This is probably my favorite from the Infallible line just because it is sparkly, but it's still, it's not like too sparkly. It's still quite neutral. I say that and it looks like crazy sparkly on my finger. But I don't know, it just blends out really well and it just gives your lid like some dimension, um, but doesn't leave your lids looking like crazy sparkly. So it's just really easy all over the lid. You can put it in the crease, and I really like it. And the last one I rediscovered, I got this like a long time ago in an Ipsy bag. It's from Kaylin, Just Mineral Eye Polish in the color Orchid. And it's this weird little contraption like this, and then it's got this sponge tip applicator on the inside. Um, and then you just dab it on your eye, and it's just so pigmented and like such a pretty shade of champagne there it is there and it really brightens your eye and it's just easy it's just this little sponge dewy here so I've been liking easy these days so yeah that's pretty much it for my favorites this is probably a really fast video hope you guys are all doing well hope you have a fabulous March I'll see you back soon probably towards the end of March and thank you so much for watching bye